is the e-commerce coffee break the podcast dedicated to shopify store owners who want to optimize their business for maximum conversions and revenue each week you're going to get actionable advice and hear from special guests talking about various topics on how to run a profitable business on shopify learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host klaus lauter and get e-commerce insights you can't google welcome to the show Hey, it's Klaus here with another quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Today, I want to talk about the header of your store of your website. One mistake that I see pretty much every day is that store owners put just too much information into the header area and that starts creating a situation where visitors are confused on what they should do next. In your header, you always want to create clarity and really show what's the next step or what you want them to do next. So therefore, you should focus on only elements if you run an on- online store that take people to what I call money-making pages. So that is either collections, product detail pages, the cart or the checkout. So here are the elements which I think you should have in a header and nothing else. So you want to have obviously your brand's logo in there. Then you want to have your navigation there, your menu there. And there you focus on links that take people either to a collection overview, to collections or directly to product detail pages. These links should be ordered from left to right in the order of most revenue generated so that people have on the far left side the collection or the product that is the best seller in your store. There, the 80-20 rule applies. You want to really show the things that are selling best in the easiest possible way to your visitors and then get more people to buy this. Links like About Us and Contact Us and other links um, like Tracking, they can go all into the footer menu. People will find them if they are looking for them. Also, if you have more than 10 or 15 products, you want to have a search bar, a search form right in your header. So people do not need to click on the icon to open this. Visitors using the search form, the search bar are proven to convert much higher than visitors um, using the navigation or clicking from page to page. And you want to take advantage of this. Another mistake that I see quite often, um, specifically with a lot of stores that um, don't have any kind of subscription or returning customer services there, is that they have a account creation or a login icon or button or link in there. You need to ask yourself how many of your visitors are using or are creating an account on your store or using the login to um, go into their account. If this is only very few people, then put this link also in the footer. If there's no one using this, then get rid of this. So you only want to have elements that really contribute to the user experience, to the user journey. Last and final tip on the header, please do not put any kind of social media sharing icons in there. So you don't want to have your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram um, link or icon in the header. You don't want to give people the chance that they can leave your website to an external website and are potentially not coming back. If you want to use these ads, um, these icons, then put them into your footer menu or use them somewhere later in the customer journey. So here we have it already, some tips on how you can optimize the header of your store for higher conversions to get people quicker and easier into the customer journey. And with that, hopefully generating more revenue from your store. That's it for today's video. I would recommend to look into our Get Conversions Masterclass and Mentorship Program, where we show Shopify store owners and WooCommerce store owners how to generate more sales and revenue from the traffic they already have. In the link under the video or in the show notes of the podcast, you will um, find more information taking um, you to our website where we show you how that works. I hope to see you on the inside of the Mentorship Program and I see and hear you in the next podcast episode. Have a good day. Hey, Klaus here. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, and not sure what to do next to grow your business, you struggle to convert traffic into sales or turn website visitors into buyers, and you want to like have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store strategy, offer marketing, sales, and anything else you need, then I would like to invite you to apply for my Get Conversions program, where I show you how to remove the guest work out of growing your Shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit. It's a application only program to apply go to my website klauslauter.com to learn more and finally please do not forget to subscribe like and comment and i would be grateful if you would leave a quick honest rating and review over at apple itunes it's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with the podcast thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break